Greg Zanis found a way to bring hope in the midst of tragedy. The Aurora Man built over 27,000 crosses to honor victims of gun violence. His Crosses for Losses mission began in 1996, after a local six-year-old was shot and killed. Since then, he's traveled countless miles to communities across the country, placing his crosses to help remember and take note of lives lost. In return, he's received notes of gratitude from thankful families. I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. What do these cards mean to you? It, it, it's my paycheck. You know, when I get cards like this, we... We have one thing we look forward to, that's going out to the mail every day. Zanis funded most of his mission out of his own pocket, at one point finding himself over a quarter million dollars in debt. But he continued to build even when tragedy struck close to home in 2019 with the Henry Pratt Company shootings. I just didn't, I just didn't see that coming. You know, I just felt so... I just felt so hurt that it's happening in my own town. Uh, you know, I'm, it's... Oh my God. Zanis retired shortly after, handing his Crosses for Losses mission over to the Lutheran Church Charities of Northbrook late last year. His daughter Susie recently announced that Zanis had been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Last Friday, she held a drive-by celebration for community members to honor the man who supported so many communities throughout the years. Susie announced Greg's passing this morning in a Facebook post. The news prompted many to share their thoughts on the For a Hero Facebook page, in memory of Zanis, showing how he brought light during the darkest days. Aurora's Mayor Richard Irving remembered Zanis in his own post, writing, quote, Greg Zanis was a giant among men. He was a man of action who simply wanted to honor the lives of others. In return, his life was one of honor, and one that was celebrated throughout our nation and world. His legacy shall forever be remembered in Aurora and around the globe. For Naperville News 17, I'm Christian Canizal.